to Budget Friendly Cooking. I am Donna and today we're going to make spring rolls using those beautiful colorful vegetables that we have here. I'm going to show you how to make them and I'm going to show how we turn those rice paper into nice and soft uh, wrapping paper. So there will be no cooking, we're just gonna do a little bit of slicing, a little bit of chopping, and then we're just gonna wrap and we're gonna make amazing peanut butter sauce with uh, coconut milk, uh, soy sauce, and some hot sauce. So stay tuned. I like spring rolls because they are so refreshing and so healthy and crunchy. So the only thing that you might need is this mandolin because that really makes um, the slices even. You have to be careful, but okay, let's get rid of that. Um, so if you don't have that, you can still slice it with knife. Um, I'm gonna try to do that just for fun. Um, you just have to have nice sharp, oh, it's not so bad, sharp knife. I mean, cucumber will be easy, but carrots might be a little hard. So you, that, that did not work, but you need like nice thin slices and then we're just gonna julienne these slices, so just thinly. Uh, okay, there you go. And it's really very, um, look at that. How beautiful is that? Try to do carrot now. Watch your finger, beautiful. And then we just stack a few of them together and do nice thin matchsticks. There you go. You can turn the music on while you're doing that. Look how gorgeous they are. And these are also perfect for um, sushi veggie rolls. That's what I do when I make them. Well, I kind of do like longer pieces, but this is perfect for spring rolls. I like this size because this way will be easier to um, roll, to wrap and roll them. Okay, that's good. Oh, I have those beautiful heirloom carrots here. So that's gonna make even more fun. I actually got the bag of carrots at Trader Joe's and they are already peeled. Oh, how beautiful are those colors and this is purple purple carrot and uh, I think they taste the same and uh, for the pepper we're just gonna cut that cut this part snack on that make sure cut that and then using the knife just slice nice Thin slices. Very easy. I think we are good. So you can put whatever veggies you guys want for your spring rolls. Sprouts are also really nice. Uh, I actually bought them, but they were not as good, so I had to toss them. They were not fresh, so you do the same with them. It's a nice thin slices. There you go. So you prep everything, all the ingredients, and then we're just gonna start wrapping. Okay, let's do that. So you're gonna need a um, bowl with water. So you dip this rice paper well, just for a few seconds, and then you move it to your board, and you start putting the veggies in the paper. So just make sure not stuff too much. A little bit of everything. Okay, and I'm gonna add a little bit of cilantro. So you will see some shrimp. Sometimes people put shrimp in there and it's wonderful, but um, I wanna keep it just veggie and then you'll fill it. See how soft it's getting? So give it another five seconds and I think it should be good. 
and then you just start rolling. Make sure you tuck that in and then fold and then fold and then just roll and roll and roll. Ta da! We have a little, little pillow here. <laughs> All right, that's it. Done. So we're gonna move that, make a couple more, and then we're gonna make the sauce. So let's do it again. Dip. Okay. Move it to the board. Build up your uh, wraps. There you go. We need a lot of colors. We have rainbow colors here. All different colors. I love that. It's so crunchy, but the thing is like it doesn't have much flavor because it's not seasoned. That's why we need nice sauce for that. Did I put everything? I think so, right? Let's add one more pepper. There you go. Should be good. All right. And wrap. So tuck everything in and then fold and fold and roll and roll. And drop. There you go. Let's cut it and see how it looks inside. Ah, oh, that is uh, amazing. I love that. The colors are so beautiful. All right, the most important part is the sauce. And you see a lot of ingredients here, and it will be hard to measure those things because usually I don't measure, but I will try. So I have peanut butter here. So this is chunky peanut butter. You can use any kind of peanut butter that you have. I'm gonna do about, okay, one, two, let's do about quarter, half a cup. Let's do half a cup. So more or less, it really does not matter. So I have coconut milk here to make it thin. About two, three, four, five tablespoons okay we need some zest and some tang in our sauce so I'm gonna add a little bit of lime zest oh that smells so good okay and a lime juice Make it work. Okay, we need a little bit of sesame seed oil. Uh, about that's it. So it's very pungent. It's very strong. We don't need a lot. So I need a little bit of hot sauce, quarter teaspoon. We need soy sauce, uh, about three, four tablespoons will be good. And we need something to make it sweet. So you can use maple syrup, but agave is kind of neutral flavor, and I think one teaspoon should be enough. I almost forgot the ginger, because um, my favorite combination is like ginger, soy sauce, sesame seed oil. It's just, and lime actually is pretty good combination. So I think that's it. And I'm gonna taste it and then see if it's good. If you have a hand blender, actually, uh, I used to have it and it works so much better than this whisk. So you just put it and done in two seconds. So this is about a cup total and it's gonna be enough for our spring girls and you might have leftovers, but you can always save it and it's really great sauce. It's kind of like pad thai sauce. You can pour it over noodles, you can pour it over chicken or fish or whatever you guys make. Oh, that looks amazing. See the consistency? That is the consistency you are looking for. There you go. Even if you don't measure things, just remember that and make sure that it's nice and well combined. Let me taste that. Mmm, so good, mmm, so good. It's fantastic, so it's not salty, it's not very spicy. Mm, I'm sure I made a little spice. Yeah, there you go. The dish, so you can always balance yourself. Like if you like spicier, you can always add more. If you don't, don't do that, so. Mmm, 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 perfect. All right, we are 
pretty much done guys it took 15 minutes or just little slicing little chopping and then just building and look how gorgeous they are cannot wait to dig in you can just pour the sauce over or you can pour the sauce in the serving dish and just dip it and you you can have like individual serving sauce bowl. yeah mm. so refreshing perfect spring summer spring rolls that's why they call spring rolls because you know it feels like spring it's beautiful um all right let me say goodbye this will be our dinner I'm very excited and i'll see you guys next week bye bye